Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my Fishing Planet series. This is the series where we catch every single possible fish while I share my locations, tips and tricks. In the previous episode we managed to finish off Mudwater River fishing log. In this episode we are moving on to the Rocky Lake. This episode's goal is to catch every single fish on Rocky Lake and also buy some new gear. This also includes all unique trophies, gut trout and golden Colorado trout uniques can be very tricky to catch. We've been let off very easily with the first two maps but this map will actually have its first challenges. There are a few essential items you want to get before you go to Rocky Lake. The best lure for trout fishing is a barbless narrow spoon 7 grams with 1 zero hook. Get the barbless version because it gives way more EXP and you can also use the same lure on future maps so it's a well worth investment with the premium currency. For the bait you want to take red worms, small minnows, semolina balls, bread and if you can also take some mayfly. This is for you my patreons. Join the Patreon to support my channel and have access to exclusive content, early access and more. For the hooks, you can take one zero and size eight hooks. Those are all the hooks you need. I have two rods, one for lure fishing and one for float fishing. So it's a pretty simple setup. Time to travel the Rocky Lake for the first time. But we also have to buy the advanced license, which is an extra 600. Overall, a pretty cheap trip, at least compared to the future maps that we are going to. Pretty much the first thing I want to get is level 15 so we can get a new keep net. Current keep net is quite small that we unlocked at level 8. Hey you, like the video. Now let's go to Trout Galore and get our first task completed. Sorry, I think it's a challenge, but yeah, if you go to Rock Lake for the first time, you get free 350 silver. That's like half the money for your license. So first of all, I'm going to use my float rod with size 8 hook and red rims. The depth will be 45 centimeters and if you live in US, it's like 20 inches, I think. Let's also track our first mission and our first mission is going to be a rocky exploration. For this mission, we need to catch five different species. Everything on this list will be fairly easy to get, except the white sucker. So if you want to catch anything else, literally just cast over here, use your red worms, and you should get all the species from this one spot. We have our first fish, and this is a very nice bluegill. So one species off the list already. I will also skip the time towards lunchtime, because that's the best time to fish right now. You can forward time once an hour or so for free, and if you want to do it more frequently, you have to pay premium currency for it but if you're going to follow my videos then i will show you how i'm going to play the game without having to spend any premium currency on skipping days another fish is on and that looks like another bluegill that's actually quite unfortunate because we already got the bluegill that we needed before that's odd <laughs> we got two of the same species in a row but this is definitely not a bluegill this is a white bass actually i did not think i would get white bass from this spot you could get it but i think from this spot it's a bit rare usually you go fish nearby the rocks with red worms and you should get the white bass fairly easily but i mean we already got it and now we have something on once again and this is another white bass okay we have two blue girls and now two white bass in a row hopefully next fish is going to be unique would you look at that that's something a bit bigger but nothing too big and this is a young rainbow trout okay this is definitely not what i expected to catch from here and if you catch young rainbow trout you can just let them go because they're not worth very much i have no clue what i hooked into but this is a big fish and somehow my line is under big tension all the time. By the way, this is me editing the video right now. And uh, yeah, I realized what I did wrong. I had the friction brake too high up and I had totally forgot about it. But yeah, let's get back into the video. Yep, I got broken off. I mean, it's fine. We'll just uh, put on a new hook and uh, catch another fish. Come on, fishy. We're at the prime time of fishing. Oh yeah, something's nibbling now. Because I was thinking, we're literally at the prime time and I'm having zero bites. So odd. And this is a new species, I think. Yes, it is. It's a black crappy. But um, I actually actually already had it. <laughs> and this is yet another bluegill. This spot has turned into bluegill and black crappy festival. That's all I'm catching right now. And this is another black crappy. Come on, game. Just give me the golden china. Maybe I should switch over to doughball. Yeah, maybe dough balls will work. And here we go. Our gold in China with dough balls. Dough balls were the way to go. I have my inventory full of all of these small fish, but I will keep collecting them until I can. And once I get something nice, I will let these guys go and put a nice fish in my keep net. Now at fantastic fishing spot, I'm going to try to get the white sucker. For this, you usually would use like marshmallows or some lena balls, but I don't have any of those. So I will try with 
dough balls and if i cannot get this fish here with dough balls i will most likely leave the lake and actually go buy some semolina balls to catch the white sucker you want to fish on the deeper part of the lake that also means you need to fish on the bottom so crank your depth to 250 centimeters or just max it out use hook size 2 and semolina balls for bait if you have them well this is not a white sucker but this is a trophy bluegill which is pretty cool because we actually needed this species and now we have it done already i'm not sure but that could be the white sucker i think this fish is fighting hard oh no my tension is low yep i lost the fish i did that to myself oh i messed up okay let's give it another shot i decided to come to the store to buy some semolina balls because i did not get the white sucker with dough balls i kept getting small fish and i just want to get over with this fish already well that is a surprise another trophy bluegill from this spot so if you need this trophy bluegill just fish where i was fishing at easy peasy this definitely has to be the white sucker there is no way this is a bluegill or a crappie or anything else nothing will fight that hard with dough balls on this map hopefully it's actually a nice white sucker as well so let's see how big this fish actually is i really want to get it in so we're done with this challenge and we can move on to the second one okay we almost have it it is so so close to us and yes we have it now we call it the white sucker it's one kilo almost actually 1.1 kilo not too bad too bad this fish is not worth almost any money and this mission also gave us barbless hooks one zero which is absolutely amazing and this is the spot on the map where i actually caught the white sucker from so you can use the same spot if you want to now at the trout galore we need to use our barbless spoon to catch a trout with stop and go method so the stop and go as i said also in the last episode is when you reel in a bit then stop reel in a bit and stop you have to have the rhythm down so you have these three points on the side as you can see you need to have those at max or maybe at two even at one i think it's good but if you have it at two or three then you're doing it the perfect way and we already have a fish on which is super nice that took almost no time to to get this fish to see if we can actually get this fish in as well or not but it seems like it's nothing too big so it should be fairly easy to get it in most likely another young trout yes it is a young rainbow trout let's release this fish and boom we're almost done with our challenge we only need to catch 10 fish in total so nine more to go but i mean it's nothing getting nine fish with the stop and go method is easy peasy just do this as i'm doing right now and you should have it done in like 10 minutes maybe or really depends if you get the big fish then it might take longer because with this setup that we have currently these fish are going to spool you for quite a bit all right we almost have the fish it literally took like three minutes in real life time if you think that's not long time then the young trout took me like 15 seconds and this was only 600 grams nearly 700 so it wasn't even a big cutthroat trout also there is a rocky trial mission where you have to catch every single trout and also release them and we only have the colorado golden trout left so if we catch colorado golden trout and release it we will also complete that mission but this was 100 the strongest fish i've fought so far at least on this map and it seems to be a rainbow trout and a fairly nice one come on just get to the keep net yep we got it it is a 1.26 kilo rainbow trout that is a very nice fish as you can see it gave us 88 exp and 214 dollars we also got to level 12 which means free 1500 coins or dollars however you call this in-game currency and we unlock some pretty good gear that we could buy later on come on fishy i'm using this stop and go i know you love it just take the bait i know you want to ah here we go we have our fish on oh it went flying i've never seen this before oh no 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 this is something i've definitely not ever ever seen before where's my fish is it in the woods is it taking a stroll in the park what's going on this is the weirdest thing that has ever happened to me while fishing in game yeah 900 grams and it took me like 15 seconds to get it in thank you rock you did good as you can see i've caught eight trout now in total and all of those were actually young trout which is pretty bad so no money but this trout i've been fighting with this for like three or four minutes and it is finally coming closer so i can actually net it oh and it went flying over the rock that's pretty cool i like this map this that's pretty funny oh it, it's a trophy trophy cutthroat trout i don't think we actually had it so we have another fish checked off the list that is awesome 90 exp and 174 dollars now we only need to catch one more trout and we are done with our mission this is another tiny trout i think so it will be coming in very 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 easily let's see yep we got another trout and we finished our mission this is a young rainbow trout let's release this fish and collect our goods for completion
completing the mission. We got one coin for the mission and $1,300 for the Rocky Care for Angler and a new spinner. Getting free bait is always welcome. Now we still need to catch the Golden Dolorado Trout. So that's the next thing we need to go and finish up. To be a bit more efficient, I am also going to use my float rod. I will set the depth to 50 centimeters, put on one zero hooks, the barbless version that we got from the challenge and use small minnows. So with this setup, I am trying to catch the Golden Dolorado and also I will use my spinner at the same time to be double efficient. Ooh, we have something taking the bait. Oh, which button was it to actually take the rod up? I forgot. Come on, game. Take up the rod quickly. Oh, it's so slow. It's so slow. I think we lost the fish. Yep, we lost the fish. But I managed to hook this one, which is good news. Hopefully it's a nice fish. Hopefully even a Golden Dolorado trout. But by the looks of it, it looks like white bass, which is uh, not what I am after. It's not worth any money and it's bad EXP as well. Hey, this goes straight to my keep net for now until we have a better fish to replace it with. And this is a nice trout. You can see my drag just screaming right now. Hopefully it's the Golden Dolorado. Maybe it is another gut trout or maybe it is... A oh, I know. No, no, no. This is definitely the Dolorado. I just saw it. Awesome. This is the last species we needed for the challenge. And then we have completed all the challenges and we can move on to catching the uniques and trophies that we need to complete of all fish species on this map. Great. Released it and let's see the loot that we will get for this mission. We also completed this weird challenge, but nobody cares about that. Well, it seems that we needed to actually get the Golden Dolorado on a spinner or any lure, not with live bait. So we still need to get another one and then we have to release it to complete the challenge. Another behemoth on the lure. I have absolutely no clue what it is, but it seems like another rainbow. Maybe even a cutthroat, but it has to be like a trophy to be spooling me like this. This will be one long, long fight, so I'm going to skip a bit and see you at the end. Hey, would you look with that? We're at the end. Nice to see you here. Thanks for staying with me. And this is a trophy and it is a trophy cutthroat trout. Fairly awesome. 1.3 kilos. It's also my new personal best and it gave us $222, which is absolutely amazing. And this is definitely nothing too big, but it could be a special fish if it's, you know, the golden one. Guess we'll see in a second. But it is not the golden one. It is the same fish we caught before. It's another trophy cutthroat trout. And would you look at that? I saw the fish on our lure and and it is the Golden Dolorado Trout. This one is fighting like hell. It's actually giving me hell. I've been fighting with this for now for quite a bit. It's a fairly big one. Hopefully it's not a trophy because releasing a trophy Golden Dolorado Trout would be kind of sad because they are worth a lot of money and they don't weigh a lot. And since our keep net is only 12 kilos, the more money you can squeeze out of a smaller fish, the better it is. And it is a trophy. It's a trophy Colorado Golden Trout, 800 grams, but it's worth $227. I will still release the fish and with this we have completed our rocky trial mission we caught $1,500 and another spinner awesome well now what we need to do is catch the rest of the species that we have left since I'm a bit lazy I will put my bank sticks down and try to get the last species with my float rod if you use your bank sticks and you put your rod on the bank sticks it actually gives you more time to hook the fish than when you hold the rod in your hand and since I'm trying to watch some YouTube and AFK a bit this is the perfect way we have a big fish on hopefully this is a trophy rainbow trout because that is one of the trophies that we still need and then we have a trophy black crappy and two unique trophies this has officially been the longest fight for me so far on rocky lake this has to be a rainbow trophy or maybe even a unique that would be so so cool but i guess we will see in a bit because the fish is close to us and we will be able to net it now and it is a trophy rainbow trout that's awesome 1.5 kilos almost and worth 253 dollars we take that. Here we go. Also level 13. This is very good to see. Free money and also some new unlocks. If you look at the fish log, we have the trophy black crappy and two unique trout trophies left. Hopefully it won't take me too long. And if it does, I mean, we can only benefit from that and make a lot of money and get a lot of EXP. This fish was a bit easier to get in. I'm very glad about that. I really need a new setup to fish on this lake. I'm getting spooled all the time by these trophy cultural trout and it takes me so, so long to get them in. It's like I'm just holding down my mouse one and my finger is getting tired. I've been fishing here for way too long. I know it's not very nice of me, but I came here to fish nearby the rocks in hopes that some of these fish will go against the rocks and start flying. So I will get them in very easily because I am tired of reeling them in for hours on hours. But that is a very nice fish because that is our golden Colorado trout. Awesome. That's some money right 
there. Since my keep net is full, I'm going to skip to the nighttime and then skip to the next nighttime right away. This way, I don't have to leave the map to be able to empty my keep net for some cash. So I'm just going to go to 3 a.m. and then skip to time once again to night number two. This way, we only have to pay a small fee to stay on the lake. And that's about it. And our keep net is empty. We can continue fishing. Extending only costs 300 silver or sorry, dollars. So we are golden. Also, since you saw at the peak times, this is the peak time right now at like 1 and 2 a.m. in the morning, which is perfect. You can skip for free. Oh, another fish flying. And you also get the peak time. So why not? Oh, nice. Trophy Colorado Golden Trout. 800 grams and almost $200. These fish are amazing. Getting full keep net of these would be worth so much money. Another unexpected mission completed. Very nice reward, $1,500 and a new spoon. That is quite funny. I had my bait so close to the shore that the fish tried to get it and jumped on the shore and stayed there, being stuck over there. And yeah, I have nothing on because of it. Come here, fishy. Another trophy. We've got so many trophies in this episode already, and I do believe we will get a lot more because there is no sign of getting a unique trophy so far. Hopefully, we will still find out how to get it and actually get those two last species that we need and the black crappy, which I'm not very worried about. But here we go, another golden Colorado trout. This is not a trophy, but still worth a lot of money. Love these. A level 14, here we go. One more level until we unlock a new keep net. This fish is just stuck. It's not moving anywhere and I can't move it anywhere. So I guess I have to walk around the lake and maybe it will get unstuck. Walking around the lake worked. The fish is free. Now let's get it into our inventory. Well, that fish is a total pig. It is very, very big. Probably my big biggest fish I've caught so far from Rocky Lake. It is a trophy and it is a trophy rainbow trout which also is my new personal best. This is awesome. $334. That's a lot of money. Here is another one and here's another trophy but this time it's the cut trout trout. This thing fought for so so long. I'm so happy I finally got it in. I just keep catching trophy cut trout and rainbow trout one after another. It takes me so so long to reel them in but none of them are unique which is kind of sad because those are the fish I'm after. The good thing is I get a lot of trophies, but I need to hit the lottery. I really, really need to do that. So this is the spot that I'm testing out right now. Maybe it will work good. Maybe not, but I guess we'll see. Time will show. And our first fish from over there is, I think, a cutthroat trout, but I still can't make a difference between the rainbow and cutthroat while they are in the water. But this is a cutthroat, not a trophy, but still a very nice fish. Another trophy. They just come in every single second. I mean, I can't catch a break of these trophies, but I am not complaining. It is time to upgrade some of our gear. This way we can complete the challenge a bit quicker. First of all, let's get a new float rod. The new rod I will get is this Nero 330. I will pair it with the Prima 2000 reel and 3.6 kilo braid that we actually got from one of the challenges we did on the previous map. This should make my life so, so much easier and we should get this fish in way quicker than we did before. Since we got to level 15, I will also buy a new fish cabin XS, which will hold up to 25 kilos of fish. This will be great for us to make more money and be more efficient. I will also sell all of my old gear so we make a bit of money and get rid of the items that we don't need anymore. I can already feel that this will be a blast to fish with. Let's see how long will it take me to get this fish in and if it's a trophy or not. But so far, so good. We are putting up a fair fight with this fish. With the previous rod, it would have been on the other side of the map already and I would have no chance to do anything to it. But as you can see, it is already coming to me. I am so so extremely happy about this purchase. We have the fish in already. It took me like 20 seconds or 25 seconds, I do believe so. And it is a new personal best trophy cutthroat trout. 125 EXP, $243. I just can't get over it. It's so nice to reel these fish in now. All right, no matter what kind of a fish this is, it is giving me a bit of a struggle, but nothing too crazy. It's already coming towards me, which is very nice, but it is definitely the strongest fish I've fought with this gear so far far. See now why it gave me hell, because this is a trophy rainbow, I do believe so. And it's also a new personal record. That's awesome. Ooh, a new float. Level 16 already. We are flying through these levels. I will give these rocks another chance. Well, it seems like that spot is actually fairly good, because this seems to be another rainbow trout, and possibly a trophy as well, because it was giving me a proper run. And it is another trophy rainbow trout worth 339 silver. Sorry, dollars. It's so, so nice. I just have the bad habit of 
of calling every currency in game silver. So I'm very sorry about that. I really thought it would be a unique trophy Colorado Golden Trout, but it was just a regular one. Nevertheless, still a very nice fish. Since I've had no luck with the unique trout trophies, I will get this black crappy trophy out of the water very quickly. For this, you need a float setup, you need size 8 hooks, red worms, and set your depth to 45 centimeters or 50. And this is the exact spot on the map where I will be fishing for it. Well, one cast and we got it. That was easy. Back to the trout grind, I guess. This will be a lot of money right now because we have 25 kilos of fish. Yeah, 4.4k. That's the most money I've made so far with one keep net. To fast forward a bit, I caught this nice golden Colorado trout. So I decided to hit the same spot again and caught the trophy version. Then another trophy golden Colorado trout. After that, another trophy. And I also hit level 18. I needed to come up with a new plan. Since I had no luck with the float, it was time to start spin fishing again. I purchased a Featherlight 215 spin fishing rod and paired it up with my Prima 2000 I had on my float rod. So I got to fishing and it was absolutely magical. The spin rod was super strong compared to my previous one. After fishing for some time, I had an idea. What if we actually go and get the turtle lure and try to get uniques with that? The web said it was the best way to do so. So... I got the turtle fishing. To catch a turtle, just cast over a rock and straight retrieve over it. This way, you will snag a turtle or some other item. You only need three turtles in total, and this is my third turtle. If we release this turtle, we will get our turtle lure. And here we go. This is our turtle lure. This is our way to victory. And let's see, what did we actually catch with the turtle lure? This is my first fish with this lure. Hopefully, it is a nice fish. It's a trophy, and it is a trophy cut trout trout. Pretty awesome. This gives me an idea. This also could get us a unique version. Just for your information, if you cast over there with Mayfly, you get quite a bit of trophy trout. It's very nice for money. Another four grand, I do believe so. Yeah, almost 4,300 even. We are already level 19 and still no unique trophies. This is horrible. I guess complaining helps always. I did not even think it would be a unique cutthroat trout, but it actually was. I thought it was just going to be a regular one. It has no texture difference for me, at least for my eye. And you know, this means that we only have one trophy left to go with the unique Colorado Golden Trout. Hopefully we will get this pretty quickly and we are done with Rocky Lake then. Fishing gods, please let it be a unique. And it is not a unique, but it's a trophy, which is very nice for cash. Another trophy. And oh, by the way, this is where I caught the unique Cutthroat Trout from. And this is where I'm planning to get the unique Golden Colorado Trout as well. So this is the spot where I'm fishing at. I'm using Stop and Go. And currently I'm using the Narrow Spoon just for a change to see if this also works. But I caught the unique Cutthroat Trout before with the Turtle. Oh boy, level 20 already. Where's the unique? Tell me. Since I'm very desperate to get the unique trophy, I saw someone on YouTube get it with a bottom fishing rig. I will get myself the three rod holder and a bottom fishing setup, something extremely simple. First fish on the bottom rig. Let's see what it is. It seems to be something extremely tiny or this setup is extremely strong. Nope, it's the fish. It's very tiny. It's a young cutthroat trout. We don't want those. But we have something very nice on the other rod. Let's see what this is. This seems to be a very decent fish. Hopefully it is a golden one as well. But by the looks of it, it is not. It's like a rainbow or something. Yes, a rainbow. Not even a trophy this time. I guess this says it all. I've been here for a very, very long time. Level 21. What a nice level to get. 21. That is huge. And we are only on our third map. And oh, by the way, this is the spot I'm fishing at right now with my narrow spoon. Oh, another golden fish. Better be a unique. And it is. Oh no, it is. It is a unique Colorado golden trout. Finally, it has happened. I was here for so long. This fish is 1.3 kilos and worth $333. This is amazing. It took me so, so long. And at the end of the day, I caught it on a mayfly. Yep, on a mayfly. I caught this trout from the opposite side of the lake nearby the rocks that I showed you before that was kind of failing because sometimes the fish would jump on the surface. But yeah, this is where I got it from. As you can see, the fish species log is fully ticked off. It has the green mark behind it. This means we caught every single fish from the rocky lake and I could not be happier to be done with this. Hopefully the next lake will be even harder. I mean easier. Yes, please be easier, not harder. If you guys like this video, you also might like this one. Take care. Bye bye.